It is 649. Many of you cranking up the heat this morning and it's going to cost you more when you get your bill in the mail. A new report from Lending Tree says one in three Tennesseans are cutting necessities just to afford utilities. The report says the costs are up big right now. We do want to get right to Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. Boy, is it a chilly one to start this day. Well, I mean, you can literally see the heat running in downtown Knoxville. That's these little steam clouds coming off all the different heating units. I'm sure yours is steaming too. I know mine was running before I even left for work this morning, and now we're around our lows. 25 currently Knoxville, 19 Sevierville, 21 Middlesbrough, and 23 Jamestown. But really what's going to continue to make it feel colder today is the fact that we'll have more wind later. It's frosty, clear and calm now, but then we'll have more wind as the day goes on and that adds up to these wind chills. So I wanted to zoom in. Maybe you work outdoors, just trying to come and go kids outdoor play time. Teachers 42 is what it's going to feel like at peak heating this afternoon in Knoxville. Wind chill 43 in Madisonville to Harriman feeling like 34 this afternoon in Crossville and Oneida. Wind chill 33 in Jamestown easily feeling like 35 in Pineville and Williamsburg to 39 in Rutledge and 40 in Dandridge. So we'll take a look at those temperatures for today and your weekend on through the first alert eight day planner here in a moment. Heather, thanks. We're following new details this morning. A missing teen from Morristown is safe thanks to a tip from someone in the community. The Hamlet County Sheriff's Office was looking for 15 year old Genesis Riviera. She went missing last Wednesday. She is safe this morning. Officials are now thanking everyone who helped find her. More good news this morning. A missing man out of Johnson City is safe this morning. The TBI says Ernest Cooper went missing yesterday. The agency says he is safe and sound this morning. Three people are charged following a road rage shooting on Strawberry Plains Pike. KPD says Stanley Williams and Braylon Reyna are charged with assault after physically confronting Todd Frazier. Frazier is charged with aggravated assault and reckless endangerment after police say he fired multiple gunshots at the two. No one is hurt. And Knoxville Mayor India Kincannon is officially kicking off her re-election campaign. City of Knoxville elections are held in odd numbered years. On the ballot, the mayor's race, along with four city council seats and municipal judge. Primary election day is in August of next year with the general election set for November. And new details this morning is the state's attorney general says there should not be a federal vaccine mandate for health care workers. Well, he is joining more than 20 other states in a petition to the Department of Health and Human Services and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. He says evidence continues to show the ongoing mandate is in an unprecedented overreach of the federal government. He says it's led to a shortage of health care workers in Tennessee. The petition is asking the department to repeal the vaccine mandates and drop guidance. The states are only petitioning for the change right now. No legal action is being taken. And a new report says Tennessee's roads and bridges need a lot of work, but help is coming at an important time. The American Society of Civilian Engineers is releasing its infrastructure report guard report card for the state. The report gives us a C grade with transit, dams and wastewater scoring the lowest grade. It says state action and federal funding in the form of the infrastructure bill and American Rescue Plan comes at, a, at an important time. Like the rest of our country, our infrastructure is at least 50 years old. Governor Lee says improving our roads and bridges is a top priority in his second term. Well, right now a baseball team all the way in Idaho is honoring an East Tennessee killed to East Tennessee and killed in the line of duty. They're paying their respects in a way you might not expect. Players from Game Time Academy in Meridian, Ohio, more than 1700 miles away, will wear a special jersey with the name of one of the 13 U.S. service members who died last August in Afghanistan. Among them, Gibbs High School graduate Staff Sergeant Ryan Knaus. Ryan's dad tells us they are honoring their honor. The team is carrying their son's name in such a special way. And if you're looking for Taylor Swift, Concert tickets today, you are out of luck. Ticketmaster says they are canceling today's public sale due to overwhelmingly overwhelming demand and supply. The company says they sold 2 million pre-sale tickets on Tuesday, which caused the site to shut down. That sparked outrage from fans. Even Tennessee's attorney general says he's investigating Ticketmaster. No word yet if any more public sales will happen. Well, happening today, the Knoxville flea market is back in town this weekend. Thousands of unique items, everything from clothing, jewelry, collectibles and electronics all under one roof. This year they're adding a new under $5 section. It starts today from two, goes until six at the Knoxville Expo Center. It is free to go. Today's the last day to help medic compete for their annual orange versus blue blood drive. 
The Kentucky-Tennessee game was a few weeks ago, but they're competing this week with Kentucky right now to see who can raise the most donations. Here's a look at the numbers right now. Tennessee's trailing Kentucky. You can donate at any medic location. You'll also receive a bunch of gifts, even a Fantasy of Trees ticket. And WVLT is proud to be your official station of the balls. The Tennessee football team hitting the road today for South Carolina as they take on the Gamecocks tomorrow night. And the Vols looking to keep those playoff hopes alive. This could be the ten Vols first 10 win season since 2007. The team donning those new orange helmets with the all white road uniforms kickoff for tomorrow night's game is 7 o'clock on ESPN. It is 654. It's been kind of a messy morning as far as the roads are concerned. Let's check in with Whitney. We sent you two alerts in the WVLT News app about some multi-vehicle crashes. Some good news, though, if you're just getting out the door, they are both now clear. This is a live look at Pellissippi Parkway just east of Kingston Pike. All lanes are back open there. You can see that traffic moving without delay. Any lingering congestion is now clear. I-40 East all back open right around West Hills. No lingering delays as you're heading through West Knox now. Even as you're moving around downtown Knoxville, those interstates and main roads are looking good. So as you start off your Friday morning, it was messy out there, but you are now in good shape. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. 655 on this cold morning. Get another look at those temperatures in case you just need me to reinforce the fact that it is frosty cold. Ranging from upper teens, mostly low to mid 20s in our area this morning. It's very still, very calm, clear. Check all the boxes. That's why it's frosty this morning. Now we're going to change the calm part of this. Again, little to no wind. Frosty 26 now Knoxville just ticked back up a degree as we go through the day, though the winds are going to tick up and that's what's going to make you feel colder. The wind chill forecast where you live. I just showed you now it's 40 at 11 with a high today of 47, but at least it's mostly sunny. We've got a few passing clouds. We actually see some scattered clouds this evening through tonight and the winds will kick up at times again tomorrow too. So again, a wind chill factor there if you're planning ahead for your weekend, but if you're planning ahead for later next week, we've been talking about this, but just so you know, we are still keeping an eye on increasing clouds to late showers Thanksgiving. More on and off rain on Friday. And yes, even just beyond your first alert eight day planner, watching out for a chance for some higher elevation snow showers. There's a lot going on when we talk about that extended forecast as well. So we've got more for you coming up on the CW. I know that Thanksgiving day forecast almost touching 60. That's going to be like a summer day for us compared it's to this gonna morning. It's going to feel so nice <laughs> after these days. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for us. We're headed over to WBXX for two more hours. Here's a beautiful shot on this Ooh. Friday morning. Big orange sunrise. Looking good, Pigeon Forge.